Uh, Mr. Lavia, uh, are you content with the current state of affairs? And do you think really European Union has tools uh, to protect our its legislation from GMO? I think that at the end we have a good result. The good result it is that we are not going to have uh, a bad legislation because uh, the proposal coming from the Commission side, it was not the best, and uh, uh, the uh, final result sh should be to have a jeopardize internal market. We want only one internal market with common rules among 28 member states, and we want not to have a reduction of competitiveness of some livestock in some countries and not in others. Are the jeopardized market is a reality. So, to what extent the states are prepared to cooperate uh, to create this common, unique common market? Uh, we need uh, a common effort of uh, the 28 member states because uh, the 28 member states have to decide on uh, the authorization uh, of uh, to put in commerce some GMO, and for this reason, they have to take. Uh, their personal and their national decision for giving the opportunity uh, to introduce in the market the GMO. At this stage, they are not able to uh, take a decision and they left the responsibility to uh, the Commission. It is not possible to continue in this way. We have to apply the existing regulation. Are, uh, in view of upcoming TTIP, does this our protection of European market of uh, GMO make sense or in a couple of years Europe has to uh, give up its current position? I think that we are not going to discuss about uh, GMO cultivation in the TTIP negotiation. Uh, at the end, uh, year after year, probably we have to adapt the final decision, but at this stage we are not discussing the TTIP negotiation about GMO. I do feel that there is a divide between uh, Northern Europe and our Southern Europe agricultural countries on this issue. No, no, we have not a uh, uh, big difference between the North and the South. Uh, we have more differences between uh, countries who want to cultivate uh, GMO and mm, countries who are, want not to have in their uh, internal uh, area uh, GMO cultivation. What's the interest? It's commercial, uh, it's money, it's our, the desire to follow the progress, how you explain, it's our interest of the EU countries to cultivate GMO. No, probably there is another difference, that is uh, the sensibility of people living in different member states. We know well that in some member states they are ready to uh, accept GMO because they are more open and we have other European countries more closed who want not to have GMO, uh, who are more linked to traditional production and uh, who want to maintain uh, the market free from GMO. Uh, it's <coughs> a question of open mind or it's a health issue? It is not only a question of open mind, it is also a question of knowledge. Uh, we have to explain better and in a better way to all the European citizens, what does it mean GMO? Because we have different techniques, we have uh, different type of biotechnology, and uh, I think that it is possible to discuss and to introduce in our legislation also the possibility to use uh, some product coming from different and from some techniques. Not all the techniques are the same. Oh, would you personally are enjoy GMOs on your plate and on the plates of your family members? I am a researcher, and as a researcher, personally, I uh, really think that we have to improve technologies. We cannot stop our research. We have to uh, produce more using less. And then, in this view, we need some new technologies. But in my dish, um, I am open to eat what I have. And then if I have nothing to put in my dish, I have to think that new technologies can help me to put something more. Are you aware that 50% of European food ends in the waste basket? Uh, maybe it makes sense to be more economical and respectful towards food than look for new technologies. We uh, made some uh, uh, some uh, resolution in the Parliament uh, 
with the aim of reducing uh, food waste, it is important to have a new regulation on food with uh, the aim of reducing food waste, because it is not possible to uh, make waste about 30% of our foods. Thank you.